Okay, hi everyone, it's Rena again, and we're back with this character. We can't seem to shake him. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to show you how to get things from Sketchfab and apply it onto your character. So with this character, we're going to add some headphones. Um, you can model them yourself, but I don't have patience right now. So we're going to go on to Sketchfab. You can also find them in Unity. Unity Asset Store has stuff like that too. Um, I'll show you briefly. In the Unity Asset Store, is my internet connected? Yes? Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead. Headphones. And then you can buy some. Yay! Headphones. Or, if none of them are the style that you like, let's go to Sketchfab. So let's open a browser. Sketchfab. There we go. Um, let's type in my hello. Head phones. Cool. Um, once again, there's paid, there's unpaid. Just gotta scour the internet. Find what you're looking for. These are pretty neat. I like these. They're cool. I would go with my character right now because he has like red shoes on. Nice, this person made this in Blender. I've made some stuff on Blender. I know how to use it. I just, I just don't have the patience right now. Nor do I really have the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think we're gonna go with these ones because my character has red shoes. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of gives me dashy vibes. It's that sheet! So you're gonna download. File type. I don't know what they made this in, so I, I don't wanna click the original, so I'm gonna go with this one. Because it's like standardized. And we probably just have to rescale. So you're gonna save it to wherever you want, and then you're gonna add, once you have it saved. Um, let's see where I have that. Save it in a place that's easy to find. So sketch fabs, yeah. And then you're it's gonna save in like a zip folder, so you're gonna unzip it. Zip unzip it. Drop it, zip and zip it. So I'm gonna extract wherever the button is. Aha, uh -huh, red. Okay, cool. Now it's there. And then you're gonna go to your folders here. I created a folder. So to create a folder, you're gonna go into your project uh, section. Um, you're gonna right click and then press create and then you can create your folder here like so. And then I named it whatever, so I named it Sketchfabs. I'm going to drag and drop this into that there and let it load. Okay, so now we have red assets. We're just gonna open this like that what is this? Where, where is this focusing on to? Okay, I don't know. I would like to check these out. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And we're gonna apply this on his neck. I honestly lost my character. What the hell? There he is. Let's go back to this. And let's take this. Uh, let's go here. I'm gonna add this under neck. Awesome. So now I'm gonna look in red phones. Yep, they usually are freaking huge. Like too big. So we're gonna have to do um, some extreme scaling. Like our Oh, we're just gonna make this extremely small. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to this. Click on our main character. Where is he at? Okay. So then I need to bring this down. Jeezums, these headphones were so big. Maybe I should have saved it in the other file type. 
I never know until I actually try it. Anyways, we're gonna go back to pressing R. We're gonna shrinky dink them. Press W, put them down. Almost his size. They're pretty close. Almost there. So I'm gonna press R again and we're gonna shrinky dink it. Like that. Maybe that size. Try there. Okay. So now we're gonna have it around his neck. So I'm just gonna move. I'm just using the to rotate. I'm using right click, so that's the orbit button, and then um, the middle mouse button is to like move center, um, move around the plane like this. Um, okay. So then I'm going to move this forward like that, and then I'm going to press E to rotate. So I'm going to click the red axis here, just the X axis. I'm going to press back to W so I can move it again and then click down and move that to wherever I want. I'm going to press E again to rotate that because I really want it to like rest on his like neck shoulder area. And then press W to go back to the arrow keys check take a look at how that's sitting it's gonna clip a little bit but overall it looks all right I just want to see how it's looking right there is it clipping too much maybe maybe I can lift it here and then forward maybe shrinking it a tiny bit more. Go back to R. Don't know if that helped. <laughs> okay, maybe I make it a little tiny bit bigger. And yeah, so it's just kind of moving around to satisfy your sizing. Once you have put it underneath like the neck tab or whatever, it kind of it keeps it paired to where it needs to be. Um, so when the character moves, it's it's not going to be moving around or anything, or it won't be um, in different areas. So if he like moves forward, it will move forward, or if he moves back, it will move back. So it's just kind of paired with that part of the body, basically is what I'm trying to say. I want to see how that looks. I think it's okay. I kind of wish I could change the texture of the uh, material. Yeah, maybe changing the albedo coloring so it's a little bit matching with his shoes in terms of vibrancy. I think that actually did it for me. I kind of wish it wasn't a standardized shader, to be honest. The M2 shader doesn't really apply here for this one. So standardized shader it is. Maybe we should make it like the same color as his shoes. Now it's like a little too dark. Yeah, okay. I can deal with that. That that I can fine with. This looks good to me. All right, so that's basically, you just kind of fiddle around with that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much this in a nutshell. It's not a <laughs> flattering <laughs> position. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish editing the rest of this character and then I'll show you an end result of what everything together would look like. All right, and so this is the headphones. Um, this whole character actually completely completed. I tried to make it match the shoes. Obviously one looks more realistic than the other. <laughs> um, yeah. 
when the character moves, the headphones stay in place. There is no like actual bounce or anything to it just because we didn't like rig it to do that. But the fact that it's actually there on the character helps. So it's like you have it just sitting there. So yeah, that's how you get uh, Sketchfab um, accessories into Vroid, and not Vroid, but uh, on Unity and then like edit it that way. I hope that helped and we shall see you in the next one. Bye everyone!